I can remember that one day I came back having been to a big fire in Christchurch um, and it was going to lead the bulletin. So this was, this was a big deal. And we couldn't find the fire effects. And so I had to sit there by the mic crumpling paper, which sounds incredibly like flames, <laughs> I might say. Um, but I'm not very good at doing two things at once. And so my, my script got slower and slower as the flames, you know, as I was working away on this paper. I was blessed to work with a, a brilliant broadcaster in John Hawkesby. He was, he was really the front guy and I was the, the straight news reader. And then I somehow ended up, you know, being on the couch and doing the two-headed thing with him, um, which was a joy, and I learned an enormous amount from him. Andrew Shaw was directing it. We'd come to the end of the, of the 24 hours, and I'd just completely run out of things to say. I was completely gone. And uh, he had to play Celebrate about a dozen times <laughs> to fill, because I was just I started with Neil Billington, and we were not welcome at all. And in fact, there were people who would um, take out ads in the paper um, that people could cut out and send to their local politician to get rid of us. It was that bad. It was, it was so funny. Um, but honestly, I died inside every time I watched her because I was thinking, oh my gosh, am I really like this? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really, it's really hard. Were it not for those reporters who've travelled the country seeking out those old soldiers and their stories, so many of those stories wouldn't have been told. And that's a, a gift. I feel incredibly lucky to have worked with the people I've worked with. You know, some of the best performers in the business, really, who, who've taught me so much.